right? Like, yeah, you, you still used to, you know, again, yesterday notwithstanding, like, it's, it's almost it's almost kind of like what we were talking about a moment ago of, like, you play your best game yep. at all times. And clearly for Serenity, Hanamura is their best game. The question is, of course, going to be, is it better than Blanks or is Blanks Hanamura better than Serenity's? Well, we have already seen Blank Blue dropping Hanamura once this season. That was to Kanga. But again, you kind of can bring in that same argument again here for Blank Blue that maybe this is also their best map. And they just had a bit of an off day there. Once more, we will see Blank Blue starting off on the defense. Serenity going for a bit more of a divey kind of a comp this time. Kavino on the Genjin. So far already, a little bit of damage coming out onto a few of those Blank players, but no picks as of yet, which is what Serenity needs. Yeah, not quite getting the DMAC on Adam either. Even just within a fraction of health, finally gets it, but not before Blank were able to kind of leverage the pressure that they had exerted and now you just see the sort of runoff from that even though the kills finally start coming the way of serenity it took too long by the time they happened Forbles was dead the rest were just kind of getting crumbled yeah gob just going forward on that winston finding both of the supports getting them both down very very early in the fight and at that point once both of your healers are out of the fight you can consider it a lost fight essentially there for Serenity. Admittedly, they kind of do get in there, they get a fair bit of ultimate charged up, but Blank Blue on the other side have a little bit more. And that Nano Blade is getting dangerously close now for Blank Blue. 83% for Frog up, Micro at 77, so could even happen this fight. Yeah, I mean, surely, right? And I mean, hey, maybe they won't even need it if the rest of the fight goes well enough for Blank, but Gob dead means it is not, so they may have to start committing ultimates. Micro, though, getting pressured down just a little bit. Serenity still looking for their angle in. Not quite Nox. finding it. If he can get a good pulse bomb off here, that could be Ooh, it. Was that an eat there? I think it may have been just in the nick of time. Adam swinging around with the defense matrix. Now though, Blank a little bit on the back foot as Adam gets picked off as he's out of the mech. The sound barrier for Serenity oh. doing work now as Bye. they pick off Frogger. Getting aggressive now. Nearly looking to get that third of the point. Here's the Dragon Blade from Micro, but it may be committed a little bit too late. Indeed, he's having to spend half of the time running away. Ooh. Finally gets Fluro Ash on the back end of that. Did actually catch Full Ball still early. Value. Yeah, and that does actually mean that Serenity are doing this fight without support. So there's maybe an opportunity for Blank Blue to re-engage here. Yeah, is it though going to be that opportunity? Is They still do have Micro fairly close to the point. If someone needs to touch, they could do that, but I've decided to go yeah. for the safer option. And I like that. I like that. It's, it's disciplined. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that was a fair enough decision. I think if Micro would have gone in there, he probably gets picked off and Serenity can kind of snowball that yeah. into the second point. And yeah. it's a situation, I mean, you look at how much time there is there. Like, if it was, was down to one minute, then yeah, go for that fight. But it's like, if you win it, like, you've still got to kind of get back in. Like, there's still only a third to give up. If you lose it, Serenity's only snowballing Cat B as well. A lot available here, though, for Serenity to try and take the B point. Kavino with the Dragon Blade. Both the support ultimates are there as well, and Kavino pushes oh, forward. Oh, Fronger. sick sleep, because look at them. He's just watching as they just taunt him, floating about in front of him. They do actually get Frogger in among that, though, and they're getting some follow-up damage, but once again, with Forbles dead, pressure still out here from Blank Blue. Gob, though, out of Primal Rage. And they're just sort of jostling for now. It may not have been as convincing a fight when as Serenity needed, but they are still actually on the upper hand of this one. Now looking to get Frogger for a second time. Arceus may just lose his mech here. Indeed he does, but not before they get Unter. But no one's actually on the point for that time, so they didn't quite convert that last third. And now Blank Blue, the other respawns, kind of coming around the backside, starting to fight back, slowly forcing Serenity off with no actual real progress gained on the point. Yeah, Micro onto the Diva. Uh, oh, sorry, onto the... May, I should say, as well. It's going to be quite nice for stalling things out. I wonder if he's going to go and swap off. He's only at 14% of the ultimate. I actually kind of want to see him stay on it, but yeah. it's, like it's going to be the no, he's going back to the Genji, yeah. I mean, tried and true. Like, <laughs> there's there's a time and a place for actually sticking on a May, to be completely honest. And that yeah. time is like that fight takes ages, and then suddenly you've got a blizzard. It's like, hey, yeah, might as well hold on to yeah. this. This is still a useful tool. But I mean, 15%. Yeah. Without that, the Genji is the more important one. And, uh, you know, it's not like a third was gained or anything. Blank have plenty of time just keep withstanding fights. Charge that, mic um, that, that micro blade. Oh, no, the blade back. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, didn't get to see what happened there, but Money certainly got a good pulse bomb off. Kavino on four balls down, and essentially kind of this fight is already over. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is just one of those situations, right, where, where it's, it's kind of over the moment it begins. You know, you yep. lose those two members right uh, at the top. There is really no coming back from that. Well, that was a little bit fun. Yeah. It's just like, is that like a suicide pact or something? Yeah. I've always loved how I dramatic kinda, I, I sort of expected sounds. Money was going to recall back up yeah. there, but I think he actually died to I think, I think he did, actually. Like, I think maybe the Bunny the Blaster. Bunny Blaster, yeah. Yeah, got a couple more on the back end of it, but... Does a fair bit of damage, reset. actually. Yeah, it, it's surprising. And the Mercy sidearm as well. No yeah. one expects the sidearms. Get a headshot with that. It's Everyone's like especially when headshots. 
All right, well, Serenity gonna have another crack here at point B, but Blank Blue, a lot of tools available to them to try and hold this one off. Money already opening up nicely. Covino oh, with the Dragon Blade. Oh, good leap behind him onto Deo as well. Just kind of knocked him out of the fight while the Primal Rage was running. That was really something they were looking to leverage to kind of mm. put Blank Blue into disarray while the follow-up came in from Covino, but unfortunately the sleep landed, the transcendence came out, just nothing quite happened at the right times there for Serenity, and Blank just shut down the little bits of it. Yeah, another very, very convincing victory there for Blank Blue, utilizing only the transcendence as well there. So that allowed time for money to get the pulse bomb up here. Micro is at 90% as well, so Nano Blade once more gonna come into effect here for Blank Blue, and Covino swapping off onto the Sombra. Now, I don't know how you feel about this one, but to be honest, I'm not so sure that the Sombra is gonna be hugely impactful here. It is gonna take a little bit of time to get that EMP up, and that's really what you want on this point for a Sombra. Well, maybe the question is, what's going to take less time, charging the EMP or slowly getting rid of Blank's ultimates until you have ultimate advantage? And I do think the EMP is the quick way to go. Micro, though, Nano Blade, that's an ultimate. Big combo being committed. Didn't quite get the leap either, so he's in this a bit late. But he gets Kabino, immediately follows up with Nox, starting to just carve up these members, and once again, wind out of the sails here for Serenity. I don't want to say over as soon as it began, but it was over not long after it began. Yeah, certainly. And Micro, even though the fact that he Seems to a lot of the time actually mess up these Dragon Blades. He always finds value. And when he doesn't mess up the Dragon Blade, well, then you can kind of see like four or five of your teammates going down. So it was a good recovery there from Micro. Again, not a huge amount invested into that fight there for Blank Blue. Again, despite the fact that the Pulse Bomb was used there, 75% already for money. So we can kind of consider that one up again for the next fight. Both the tank qualities available for Blank Blue in this one as well. So they will be able to stall things out. And Serenity, they're still waiting for that EMP to come up. And by the time it does come up, they might only have one fight left. And that's certainly a consideration I think they made when they swapped into the Sombra, but yeah, that's, that is now just sort of the reality of the situation. Covino losing his life! Oh, just takes that even longer now to get that EMP available. Also, Floro Ash. Oh, the hunt. Yeah, Serenity, they need to go into full retreat here. Something they learned very well on Hollywood, but not quite able to do it quickly enough. Forbel's dead. Arceus loses the mech, and that's just time the blanket to burn off the clock now. Yeah, this is going to be not very fun. Money did he just do it again? <laughs> yeah, he did it again. This time, that's 100% that intentional. That was all money, yeah. And he didn't even actually get the kill in doing that. Like, he was like, I'm going to follow you to the better end. Yep. Oh, okay. That, that was, that was an fun. announcement out of Gob. He's ready to unleash his primal rage. He is indeed. A lot of things ready for Blank Blue. Once again, it's going to be a fairly similar fight to the last one. However, the difference here for Serenity, EMP is up. So that's going to be where the opening lies for Serenity. That's their it's win condition. Be. It's only 30 seconds as well. Like They don't win it here. They don't win it at all. And it's the great equalizer because now they're all hacked. They can't press that Q button. Not micro. At least not just yet. Adam does get the self-destruct out, though, and that's got to do something. But yeah, now these ultimates available. The Nano Blade combo, but good transcendence from Four Balls to somewhat counter it, at least for now. Yeah, nothing gained for it. Has to put the blade away. Now finds himself surrounded and immediately dropping down. Now Adam alone on the point. This should at least be a third if they can just close out these last couple of members. Indeed, it should. Uh, yeah, there we go. Finally getting over. Now they've got to keep tabs on these respawners. Gob going to come in, try and stall with that Primal Rage. The rest of Blank. Actually, Adam has not gone back to spawn, has also not died, so we can't re-mech. This is a really good move by Serenity, but they've lost a couple of members to the respawners. Adam, amazingly, with a Bunny Blaster picking up two, so never mind that. He was still in the fight. Mech or no, he is still going to try and win it for the team. Only the third total of 48.4% for Serenity as Blank Blue going to come into their own offense now, looking to close out the series altogether. Yeah, I mean, that was a, a really good fight, actually, out from Serenity. Both of the supports utilizing their ults to perfection. We saw the sound barrier come out. They waited, they waited, they waited. Transcendence came out at the perfect time to deny Micro a reset, and Micro couldn't get anything done because yeah. of that Transcendence as well. And it ultimately looked like Serenity was actually going to cap that one out, but then Blank Blue, the trickle comes into effect, and again, we're finding that Serenity is able to challenge at times, but they just can't find a way to convert these wins, these fights, into actual maps. And that seems to be the case here with Blank Blue as well. I mean, it's where the individual skill just kind of comes on display. You know, even after losing the fight, having committed all those ultimates, you know, that Transcendence is a perfect example. It was one ultimate that counted out two, both the Nano Boost and the Dragon Blade. So... They end up in this situation. They got the respawn advantage to fall back on. But even then, a lot of teams at that point for Serenity, where they were, can kind of keep the pressure on. You know, individuals start respawning. They get killed off as they come out. But the skill of Blank Blue is such that even when that's happening, they're trading one back. And eventually, the numbers just start to play in your favor. And that's exactly how they ended up playing that. Like, that is that individual skill to just frag out when you've got nothing else available. Yeah, exactly. And that's where Blank Blue does uh, sometimes find their differences. 
But Serenity now going to have to try and hold things off, and it does seem as though they're going to be putting a fair bit of investment into this first point, particularly given that there is a May there for Kavino. Now, yeah. with 26 seconds left on the clock, I kind of feel like he's probably going to commit to that. It's a little Seems bit too late so. to swap off. And, I mean, this is an interesting one because you kind of need to win that first fight pretty handily. Oh, oh no, he is going to swap off, actually. going to just, at the very last minute, go into the Sombra with just enough time to make it over the point. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I, I know. I'm actually... Oh, uh, it's definitely not going to be a Torbjorn. That that really, like, that faked me out for a second. <laughs> well, we have seen uh, a Doomfist here on Hanamura, which was quite yeah. exciting. But no such luck this time. Everyone's taking things fairly standard, which is fair enough, I guess. You sound so disappointed. I'm a little bit. <laughs> as much as I do like those games, you get, like, the main, you get, like, some some wacky stuff. I mean, once upon a time, it was like, oh, my God, Junkrat, how exotic. Yeah. But, oh, nice catch on the Frogger early on. Actually slows down Black Boo. Blank blue, rather, on their initial push, at least for now. Well, that's what we need to see. A little bit more of that out of Serenity. Now, admittedly, it's not a massive loss, and Micro Sneaky sitting beaky. behind. So this could be a bit of a problem for Serenity. Do they know that he is here? It seems as though they do. Dayo moving quite far forward here. I mean, he's, he's not under threat here, but... This is actually kind of good because it's wasting Blank Blue's time, oh, which means Micro, yeah, it goes down. That was really good. Like, I like that Serenity were being proactive. I don't know if they knew Micro was there or not. Maybe they'd realized he wasn't with the team, but because he was just kind of waiting off the side while the rest of his team was just not actually able to get to the point, a lot of time was wasted. And now Money just kind of stepping onto the point to try and draw Serenity back. But that is the fight win oh. for Serenity. Nox, nice shot. And that's all down to the Sombra. We saw the, ha the health pack was actually hacked. And there was not anything that Money could do. Just to get uh, that one. Yeah, unfortunately not. But I mean, he was only just trying to draw Serenity away so that they couldn't route the rest of Blank. So I suppose he did his job. Whoops. There's only uh, only two and a half minutes remaining now for Blank. Maybe this mm. is not looking to be as easy as they were expecting. No, certainly not as easy as I was expecting it to be either. Kavino coming up on the EMP. Nice. And there it is. Good Blank connect. Blue. This is not going to be very fun for them at all. Having lost two players already, none of them can use any of their skills. And realistically speaking, the fight does seem to be already over Yeah. he pops out. The Pulse Bomb there is a bit of a Hail Mary, see if he can get anything happening, but... Three on the end as well yeah. for Kavino. I mean, one of them was just Adam's mech, but now it's Adam, uh, yeah, has to take a dive, was nearly in a Pet Diva situation, so it's effectively the kill on behalf of Kavino. Late one there onto Money as well. There's actually a lot of time mm. just being wasted for Blank. By the way, Serenity actually retaining ultimate advantage. It was that kind of cheap fight that you need to see defenders have. Well, it and does tend to yeah. be like that. When you use the EMP, the rest of the fight does the great equalizer. Exactly, you don't tend to use a lot past that. Maybe one other ultimate to clean things up. Up, but the EMP is, is great for that. And now we're going to see Blank Blue pushing in just with a couple of ultis here. Serenity, going to try and hold off. Yeah, they have to use the Transcendence just to stay safe as the commitment comes in from Deo with the Nano Boost on top of a Micro, though, looking for the angles. He's got some squishy targets in his sights. Finds Kavino. That's the one they need for the reset. Let's get aggressive now. Pulls out the blade, but has to kind of go the long way around because of that Transcendence from Four Balls. Once again, uh, I don't know, foiling the <laughs> Dragon Blade, but it is going the way of Blank Blue. Now the rest of the ultimate's able to be committed. Nox, nothing with that tactical visor, unfortunate for him. Maybe he would have wanted to use that earlier and was wanting to hold on to it for a subsequent fight, but when it went pear-shaped, ended up committing it late. In fact, too late. Wasn't as quick as maybe we were expecting, but it is the point cap for Blank Blue. Now five minutes, only needing to get just under halfway on B. Yeah, you saw a lot of respect from Serenity in that last fight as well. They really backed off, and I think that might have been their undoing, but we'll talk about that later as, again, we're going to see an investment onto point B now coming out for Blank Blue. Money does still have that pulse bomb, no kills as of yet, and already the sound barrier invested by Blank Blue. Forced out of it for a moment, though, by the self-destruct, and Blank Blue, with that, actually find themselves off the point, having committed all their resources or their ultimates. They don't really have a good way of getting back on here, and yeah, Nox, smart position. This means that Blank, if they do want to try and push back on, they're going to have to dislodge Nox first. As I say that, Micro does it! This actually paves the way a bit for Blank. They do lose Frogger, but they may just want to keep committing. They get Arceus's mech. They're diving onto the backline. Foibles done so quick, so aggressive aggressive from Blank as they just pick apart Serenity member by member. Yeah, not a whole lot left on that. Ticker to 48% is what we are looking for for Blank Blue right now. Serenity, though, starting to trickle out onto the point, trying to do their best to keep things busy for Blank Blue, and they're doing that, but Blank is still finding the kills, and this is not what Serenity was able to do in their own sort of dive onto that point. Nice hack onto Adam, though, and actually with Micro and Gob both dead, Serenity should be able to eke out a numerical advantage here. They should just be able to stabilize Blank, 
they may actually try and just pull back and reset here. Adam's nearly going to remake. No, not quite in time, unfortunately. And yeah, they actually really stayed into the better end. We're just looking for any opportunity to try and re-engage the fight. So well done by Serenity to hold on long enough and just close out those last few kills to stop Blank from being able to do that. Yeah, that's really good from Serenity as well, denying that first tick. If that first tick would have come across, it makes the rest of the battle so much easier here for Blank Blue. But, you know, even if you get up to 32%, you still have to get that whole 32% back again because of the way that the points re work. Blank Blue, they're, they're still sort of sitting at square one. They haven't really even achieved anything at this point in terms of that cap pressure on B. And these teams are just running even in terms of ultimates, which means that respawn advantage really pays dividends here for Serenity. Blank need to come up with an overwhelming advantage. And already, even, oh, there's no defensive tools to save money there. Four balls picked off, though. Serenity... They are a little bit pear-shaped in here, but once again, I think they're getting just a few kills, enough yeah. at least, for their respawns to really count as they start coming in. And yeah, very nicely rebuffed. But Serenity did have to use some resources in it. It, it did look like it was going to be a pretty tough fight, actually, for Serenity, but Kavino came in with the EMP at the perfect time. Yeah. That's where the swing sort of appeared, and Serenity, like you said, starting to get those respawns at essentially that time as well. Does force Blank Blue back. Now, however, you already mentioned... It has been a fairly expensive fight there for Serenity. They do have a couple to hold off on here, but Blank Blue coming up on some big ones. Micro again on yeah. the Dragon Blade, and we know how deadly that can be for Blank Blue. So it's going to have to be uh, a pretty good coalescence out from Fluoro Ash to keep everyone yeah. alive because Bubbles, no transcendence in sight. That's the thing. That's the big one. You really need to withstand things, especially like this Dragon Blade. Micro might finally be able to get one without it just getting counted out by a transcendence. Fluoro Ash as well, yeah, has to pop the coalescence early, but he doesn't have a line of sight to everyone. They're a little bit too spread out and a little bit too far away for the most part, but no, it is Gob the first cast. Casualty. Arceus was able to make just enough space with his self-destruct a moment ago. And with this blank, are actually finding themselves a little bit kind of up a tree without a ladder here. Serenity as well, cycling into some ultimate soon, but not if Kavino dies, which indeed he does, but Micro did go down. This is relatively even trades, but you have to say it favors Serenity once again because of the respawn advantage. Also, Transcendence rotating up for four balls. Blank, though, are doing a good job of forcing every ultimate they can out of Serenity before backing off, but how many times can they do that without actually getting progress? Because they've only got a minute and a half left. Yeah, I kind of liked what we saw Micro doing there with the Dragon Blade holding off and waiting for the support to come out from Serenity, but uh, by the time he ended up actually using Dragon Blade, the fight was already a little bit too far gone. We already saw the tanks were kind of well in his face, really chasing him down. Every single time he would peek his head up, we would see a, a Winston and a Diva right on top of him. So perhaps too little too late there from Micro, and now not a whole lot to utilize to come into this one. Keeping eyes on money with that Pulse Bomb, if you can find a pick out of that, Ooh, could be huge. Early catch on Arceus's mech, really de decisive as they come in under the protection of Unter's Transcendence, and now Deo as well. Here's the EMP, but it's one of those situations where there's no one to follow up on it. And after holding for so many times, Serenity just getting absolutely routed. Get on the point. Pieces, get on the point. There's oh. no one to get on the point. And Blank Blue, with only a minute to spare, will at least clinch it. That came so close, though, for Serenity. Just a couple more holds away. Yeah, even maybe just that one hold. Yeah. If they would have held that one off, all their ulties coming up for the next fight, we would have seen Blank Blue obviously invest a lot into that one. And that could have been that. That could have been the map win, even for Serenity. But... Such is life, and once again, Blank Blue managed to steal one away. Serenity, they look so good so many times, but they can never manage to convert. That is the Serenity that I expected to see when we started off this best of four, right? Yeah. That is who I thought was going to come out. And I feel like even though they didn't win, that is at least the level that they yeah. should have been playing for those first two maps as well. I'm glad we finally got to see it there on Hanamura, and I can only hope that map four's at least the same. Absolutely. And I mean, yeah, you almost wish you'd seen that out of Serenity the whole way through. Mm. Let's also be clear, though, even if Serenity had played to that level the whole way through, Blank still would have won still, it. I yeah. Mean, exactly. As evidenced by yep. the fact that they still won I don't won think Hanamura, anyone right? disagrees yeah. with that, right? Yeah. But uh, it, it's now actually looking like the difference between, you know, like a first or second place mm. team and like a third and fourth place team, rather than like a first and second place team and like a maybe don't quite make it and then finish fifth place team. So if Serenity can at least keep that up, the hope is very much still there for that for that top four finish, which is really what they should always have been aiming for, and indeed certainly still are. But there's just little things to tidy up here yeah. and there, and I guarantee you the difference there could have been something as simple as a more proactive EMP right at the very end. The moment you're the team that's willing to do yep. that, that's willing to you know forget you're playing against blank blue, go aggressive, be decisive. Suddenly you can find yourselves in in much more favorable situations. This is a team that's already adapted, but you can see where they can make further improvements and eventually become a much stronger.
the team. You want to be engaging those fights on your terms, really, more or less. And if you're not doing that, it means the other team's going to be able to dictate how yeah. those fights play out. That's exactly what we saw from Blank Blue in that final fight. They got the initial pick, they got another pick, and it was kind of a little bit too little too late there for Confino with the EMP. So overall, there are good signs there for Serenity, and this is why I like to talk about them as a team as they progress through the seasons of Contenders. Mm -hmm. That could be a real problem for maybe some of these top teams right now yeah. in a few months' time. Yeah, and, and even as we saw as well in uh, in Overwatch League this morning, right, you just need to make it through to the finals to have, have a decent yeah. shot at it, right? There was... We're not, look, I know there's reruns. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm uh, <laughs> not going to spoil anything that's already occurred. But yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was fun, and it really did prove that there's, you know, you just got to just got to make the top four in, in, in contenders, yeah. at least, for that to be a thing. And that's the truth, right? Like, if Serenity can still break in, into that top four, then, you know, come playoffs time, like, maybe you're at a point there where, you know, you are making that more proactive play with the EMP on the defensive, and you win that last fight, and actually that becomes a map win, and then you do that a couple more times, yeah. and, oh, look, suddenly you've upset a favorite, you're through to the semifinals, they're not, and even though you just scraped into fourth place in groups, you're now in the top four. Exactly. Like, that's a very real thing that can and does happen constantly. And you only need to win that one series. Exactly. You don't need to win an entire season. You don't need to come in first place in the regular season. It really could yeah. just come down to that one single series. And, you know, there's always that upset potential. So far, we haven't really seen it, but it's it's a very real potential. And it's like it's the, a potential that gets realized in playoffs. So, like, mm. we, we aren't going to see as much of it in groups anyway, but absolutely, it's still going to be a factor. Like, just because groups have gone, you know, a lot of 4-0s, a lot of big wins and quote-unquote expected wins, do not rest on your laurels, top teams, and certainly viewers don't expect that matches are always going to go a certain way. And now that we've gone from Serenity uh, getting dumped on to Serenity now winning the whole season in the space of about five minutes, <laughs> let's go and see how they work it out on map number four. Map number four is going to be Dorado. I'm not going to allow you guys to make any jokes about it being nighttime because Darksider is gone. <laughs> but I look, I feel like they've got the momentum. They've got the. I want to see at least the same. Look, that I, is my hope. I want to <laughs> see. I, I want to see it go to all three points of both sides. This, this is, is my dream. This is the start of Serenity's rise to this the top. Is it. We've already predicted yep, them yep. as the season there one of yeah. yep. Contenders Australia season three. Serenity four oh everyone. Yeah. Just clip <laughs> this. Clip this. This is where it starts. Quote uh, me on that. <laughs> could be Dorado. It could be. Or and it and could I mean, not. I'm really sorry to do this to you, Ben, but like I personally do find nighttime quite serene. Yeah, I Especially, was actually going to make the I same. Mean, until the fighting starts with, you know, the, with like the, the nice fairy lights out in the square. Mm -hmm. and it's all lit up. It's beautiful. It's very serene. I it's do like uh, Dorado. I'm a big zen. fan. It's also a fairly blue map. Yeah, do you yeah. I mean, that's, with that? that's also a, a, a factor. I mean, it's also like a yellow and red and like there's a lot of colors. But wouldn't you there. say blue is the dominant color? I mean... Because I kind of actually, like it is. actually no, but but what? like I'll I'll let you have that. I'll Isn't let you the have sky that. Sky kind of bluish and. I mean, it's nighttime. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like blue. a midnight blue. If it's like, okay, if they were called blank like midnight late evening look, blue. Look how blue that is. At least half the, the screen moon. is blue. That's the moon. That's what moonlight does. All right. Uh, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to concede that one too. But you know what? Look at the red van, the orange cobblestones, the yellow building, the green vines. There are many colors. The, the world is a beautiful and colorful place, Selfish Guy. It's time you opened your eyes to things other than blue and that man, Ben Green. Green? <laughs> I don't like green. All right, let's, about green? let's open up our eyes to how this match is going to go. In fact, as Camino <laughs> has uh, started off on the Widowmaker, which uh, is not a terrible choice here on the first point of Dorado. Yeah, the only, uh, um, only colours we need to pay attention to are red and blue. So that's the colours of the two teams. Indeed it is. And Cavino getting a fair bit of damage out here. Yeah. But as of yet, no headshots, and that's exactly what he really needs. Well, certainly it has stopped Blank Blue from actually taking a fight here on this advanced defence, which is good. The payload keeps moving, uh, and... I mean, it doesn't happen often that a team actually gets that fight there, but, you know, being able to avoid it is still a nice thing for the offensive. Now let's see if they can get through the bridge. Let's see if Cavino can find a pick here, because that's really the opening that Serenity needs. Yes, you can get damage out with that Widowmaker, but at the end of the day, you're probably better off having a Soldier or a McCree if you want to go for that. You need those headshots, you need those picks as a Widow if you're going to make things work. Yeah, you're dead right. Like, without the picks, this, this needs to have more effect, you know? It, or rather, without picks, it's not doing enough. And now, actually, the payload is kind of stopped up because mm. picks just really oh. are coming through. Oh, no way! Still, still getting one clip. That's like that's like the Widows in my Solo Q games. Like, where's your awareness? Oh. In all fairness, it's headshots there. Especially... And, yeah, having committed that oh. uh, infrasight as well. Super rough. And Couldn't have gone worse, not really. Actually 
really getting much past the bridge there. I mean, they're going to have to fight back through it. And, uh, oh, classic stall. Yeah, classic indeed. Arceus, oh, this is really not fun at all. So that's going to buy a heap of time for Blank Blue, and they've come up on quite a lot of ultimates just out of that first fight as well. So the going essentially gets even easier, actually, here for Blank Blue, as they're going to be able to start utilizing that advantage, get that economy working in their direction, and Serenity are always fighting from behind now. Unfortunately so. Kavino again is getting so pressured out. Ultimate's getting thrown into the mix now, and actually that Transcendence not doing too much for Blank just yet, but they've got so many more resources to fall back on indeed. Pulling out one of them just now, it is the Dragon Blade. Micro really in deep, and he is getting four, but he's got Kavino too. Can he get any more? No, has to put the blade away and, uh, you know, save another one oh. for another day. Gets Deo at the back end just with a swift strike for good measure, but yeah, that is Serenity once again just not getting any progress. Yeah, but... Oh no! Arceus! Yeah, it's not fun, is it? Micro's pretty keen to stat pad that one up. As he dashes through. Oh, it's like it's like he wasn't even looking for a kill. He was just on his way back. It's yep. like, oh, whoops, that was someone's head. Yep, oh. exactly. Unexpected. How He's all the way back to spawn, so it looks like he wants to swap off the Genji. He's he's sick of looking good. Huh. He wants to, no, he's, he wants to look a little bit less good on Farah. I don't know. This is a little bit of an interesting choice, perhaps in relation to the fact that Kavino has swapped onto the Farah there as well. Ooh, that's oh. a big pulse bomb. Nox gets Frogger. It was just sitting on the ground, but Frogger does walk over it. And that's going to be the start of a good fight for Serenity. Yeah, getting Gob as well, who actually had been nano boosted there by uh, the late Frogger. Follow up had also come through onto Unter. This is actually exactly the fight Serenity needed, getting that earlier pressure out of Kavino's Pharaoh while Micro was still changing onto his own. Actually, seemed to just be enough for them to crack the fight open there and blank. Did commit resources, not heaps, but they committed resources that had no effect. That is a very rare thing from them. Yeah, certainly, but they still have a fair bit to play with here on the second point, or the second part, the second stage, if you will. I don't really like calling it street space because it's like it's all streets. It is streets, yeah. Well, the first part's market. I, I mean, I suppose technically it is, but it's like, it's still a road that goes through it, right? Money, by the way, nice 1v1 against Nox, kind of taking him out of the picture as a flanker here, and that does... Uh, does stall up Serenity. I mean, they're still able to move the payload, but they can't do anything too aggressive for now. Gob's just gonna try and halt that one for the moment. Kavino with the Discord Orb on him. Not gonna be having too fun of a time, nor is Ooh. Deo. Yeah, that's uh, it's probably an even less fun time. I think being dead is very not fun. That, that's my prediction. I've never experienced it firsthand. Never but experienced death, no. but you think it's not gonna be very fun. Yeah, that is... That is hmm. I'm inclined to agree, if I'm honest. Well, I appreciate that. And you already see Serenity, like, they're just not even able to get moving again, just at least for the time being. They're just finding a way to really get aggressive, pile on the pressure. They need to kind of punch through this now, looking to do so. And Blank Blue are just harassing them every step of the way. Self destruct looked all right. It did look all right indeed. Catching four balls, it's very much all right. Hunter under pressure here, though. It's probably just going to have oh. to go down here, although being healed up quite nicely. Oh, got a That's headshot. A, got to hand it to Frogger there as well, backing up his buddy. Yeah, supports, you know. Got to protect our own. And with that as well, actually, uh, Micro getting the kill on Covino. Now Blank Blue, you know, they're, they're looking, you know, almost green across the board in terms of the ultimate Serenity, and now just kind of playing the catch-up game. There's the barrage onto the tanks, closed out the mech. Didn't quite finish off Deo, but I don't think it's really going to mean much because Deo's low enough, he's in to pull out. Actually, no, gets an ultimate just in time. Stays his, uh, saves his life, rather, stays in the fight as well. But Serenity aren't exactly getting the upper hand here in spite of that. Covino dead before he can commit his own rocket barrage, unfortunately, and now just routing out four balls, taking the carpet out from underneath Serenity. That's a good dive out there from Adam as well, really backing up his uh, tracer there, the DPS and tanks working well together. Communication on point for Blank Blue. Four balls gets dropped and swaps over onto the Zenyatta, which I think for four balls is a comfort pick in a sense. It's definitely what we see him tending to play quite often, more often than not in fact. But looking at this alt economy, it really is being managed quite well by Blank Blue. They're not investing a lot into every single fight. Serenity, as I said earlier, they're always fighting from behind. Yeah, they never seem to be getting too proactive either. That is a really unfortunate sound barrier only on Flourash and Archaeus. And that means these other members who weren't profiting from it are getting damaged so much getting picked apart Kavino already like they basically committed an ultimate did next to no damage to blank and then just lost a member now lose time have to reset and wait another time yeah the payload has definitely been stalled for the better part of the last two or three minutes and this is coming up to Serenity's last push maybe they can get one more through here if this one goes fairly quickly 
But playing blue, they have so much. To, they just have so much to play As with. As per usual, already it's the self-destruct from Adam to queue things Ooh. out. Doesn't get any kills, but it just scatters Serenity to the four winds. And while they're scattered, you know, it's divide and conquer. Yep. They're just losing members each and every time. Sure, it's only Arceus's mech, but that's fine here because there's only 15 seconds. He can't reset that in time. Yeah, that's actually really, really bad here for Serenity coming into this final push. Uh, he's down as oh, well. So oh, the worst late. possible stagger. That is disgusting. So it's going to be a 5v6 coming into this final push. And with the Rocket Barrage in the pocket of Micro, straight down onto Deo. Doesn't even need to get anyone else. They do at least get Micro back, but not before losing Covino. And now Serenity very much back-footed, more so than even any other fight, with the overtime slowly burning down as well. Foibles trying to transcend around that payload, but also trying to keep his team members alive, and he just can't do both. Everyone is too split, too scattered. And once again, divide and conquer here for Blank Blue. First the divide, now the conquer. Very much the conquer indeed. However, there is still a little bit of uh, rebellion happening here yeah. for Serenity. <laughs> then, then, then the rebellion just got punched right in the face. Yep. And they actually did hold on for quite a long time there. But I mean, once again, realistically, much as it had been uh, throughout the entirety of that push, uh, unfortunately, they never had an upper hand. Like, they were never getting the opening kill. They were never being proactive enough. They never seemed to have an ultimate advantage. Like, they were never ahead. That is so rare. Yeah, that was uh, a real big problem for Serenity, and well, that position I think is a real big problem for them as well, because essentially what this really means for Serenity is that they have to either hold it in the markets, or if they drop that, they have to hold that very first choke point, which is quite difficult. As soon yeah. as that, that high ground is controlled by Blank Blue on the attack, then it kind of gets to this point fairly easily. So, knowing... The, the kind of strategy that Blank Blue does tend to employ, which is dive, they're not going to have a very difficult time taking control of that high ground away from Serenity either. This is looking like a really tough scenario now for them. They, I, I almost feel like they have to hold it like at the bridge or something like that. Yeah, like realistically, yeah. I mean, Avril was actually mentioning this earlier today. You've kind of got those three break points on the first point of Dorado. Uh, you know, you've, you've got that very early on, then you've got the bridge, and then you kind of got around the, uh, the back of the fountain. So yeah. the bridge has really got to be the ideal one of those three, but... I want to see Serenity also, you know, take that very first position, at least burn some time off the clock there without losing any members. They're going to actually have to do a lot of things right in succession with little to no mistakes. In fact, I'm actually going to say they have to really not make any mistakes because Blank are a team that can take a mistake and run with it, just capitalize off it, get a full cap on A, and then suddenly Serenity will find themselves with really little to no hope of holding out. Well... It's do or die, really, for Serenity. This is their last chance to get a map out of this one, which was kind of the storyline that we were selling at the start of it, if they were going to be even be able to do that. And so far, it's not looking likely. So let's see what Serenity has got up their back pocket as they are on that defensive side. Again, Cavino on the Widow. I'm not so sure it's been too effective, actually, throughout uh, this series so far. So I'm not 100% sold on it, but my mind is... Willing to change? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not sold, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it for a dollar if there's no other bidders. And uh, that first point just sort of not really contested too much. Covino, though, showing his worth there. Does catch Micro, but this is the clinch point here. This is the linchpin part of the defense. They have to stop it for a long time here. Ideally, the whole length of time underneath this archway. Yeah, so far, so good for Serenity, but you can still see Blank Blue putting pressure on them, pushing forward. We're not seeing the picks out from Serenity that we need to be. Up to 85% uh -oh. though for Covino, but Dio going down early on in the piece and money with the pulse bomb. Gonna look for that one on Big the Diva. Uh -oh. D mech And got Fluro Ash with it for good measure. Goes straight back in to follow up on the mini diva. That was that was rough. I mean the moment Deo went down, it was already just blank kind of broken through and pretty much having free reign over the entirety of the courtyard, but it was so unmitigated by Serenity. Yeah. Money just having such a big impact in that first phase of the map. Now we're already onto the second with five minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. We sort of spoke about how Serenity really needs to control that high ground here, but Blank Blue are pushing forward. They're not even allowing Serenity to really set up in their defensive positions comfortably as that payload is going to push forward for free. Pulse bomb, good. Oh, no way. Garb just jumps it up to Micro. That's pretty great for Nox, actually. Merry I mean, Christmas. we talked about, yeah, Merry Deed and a Happy New Year. I mean, we talked about how hard this is to hold. Like, they need to get that about, like, like five more times, but, like, they could. They could, they're yeah. Off the, they're off to the start they need, I suppose. Will they, though? That's the real question. We've already seen Cavino swapping off onto the Soldier, which I kind of agree with at this point. 
Not oh, too many ultis available though for Serenity. Fluro Ash and Deo. That's all that's left for Blank Blue. Look at how many they've got. The sound barrier comes out. Micro going aggressively now with the Dragon Blade. Oh, already find? one player going down. Kavino gets dropped. Not much more past that, but is that all that he needs? I think so, because he went deep enough. The plan there was really just to either let Serenity die on the back line or force them all the way back, which is what's happened. Once again, dividing Comper Foibles having a hard time. Foibles rather just he's just moving from one player to another, trying to get out of danger. But the players themselves are so scattered, and now with him dead, Nox gets picked off. Arceus is way off to the side by the mech. Fluro Ash way off by the statue, and there's just no one centralized. Serenity are not a, a sort of singular mustard force here, and off the back of that blank blue gonna cap out not too shabby the 4-0 second 4-0 of today as well certainly a very convincing one there out from blank blue and i like that you mentioned how separated serenity got in that final fight because that really did seem to be the problem and when you're up against the blank blue dive if you get separated like that you are going to get picked off and split apart and essentially yeah Demolish. And it's exactly what kept happening to Serenity on their offense as well. I mean, it was just a theme of the map as a whole. I don't know if that's like a Dorado thing here, or if that's a Serenity issue, or if it's a blank strategy, but it was working. It was great. Feeling good? If you're uh, blank blue, what more could you want? Four points on the board. Mm. Very nice uh, way to, to kick off the week here. Your Serenity, one good map, three pretty average maps. Yeah, and I mean, we were just talking about that right after Hanamura. That was the level we wanted to at least see them stay at mm. for this last one. But like I said, I don't know if that was like a Dorado thing or a blank blue thing on Dorado or just a blank blue thing or Serenity. Who knows what it was? It was Serenity not performing to the caliber we'd even just seen them on on Hanamura. Like, whatever the cause is, that's something they have to address. Yeah, and I think it's tough. Like, blank is a difficult team to play. And even if you're confident in what you're doing... You would like to think that Blank should be able to pick apart the bits and pieces that maybe you're not a hundred percent on, and they can make the most of that. And I think we did see that today, see that today across a couple of these maps. But overall, you still want to feel like maybe you can you can have a bit of a better go than, than one one good map. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> like at, at least win that one good map mm. as well. You know, walk away with that three one. I mean, we were talking about how crucial that kind of result was going to be here for Serenity because it's now their second 4-0 two days in a row unfortunately. Yeah, that it's got to hurt for sure, but the C 